Apple released iOS 18.4 a couple of weeks ago. I was initially not going to make a video on this, but I'm genuinely surprised by this update and I wanted to share everything that is new in this update with you all. There are some notable Apple intelligence updates along with some welcome improvements. Everything new to iOS 18.4 in this video. Let's get started. Let's start with the big ones. Apple intelligence. Finally, Apple Intelligence is available in India and other regions like Singapore. You can now officially set the region and language to India English and you should be able to natively use Apple Intelligence features like AI writing tools, image playground, Genmoji and AI transcription. If you want to know the full hands-on of Apple Intelligence features, I've made a whole video which I'll leave a link in the description below. There are some other updates coming to Apple Intelligence as well in iOS 18.4. Apple is finally bringing priority notifications, which will show important notifications at the top. You can now enable this in settings. You can even select the apps which you want to prioritize at the top in this notification settings page. If you are an Image Playground user, there is a big update here. When you create an image, you now have the option to create a sketch as a third option. There used to be an animation style and an illustration style. Now you have sketch as a new style option here. It actually does a pretty good job to be honest. Okay, one of the controversial things that Apple did with iPhone 16 series launch was to bring visual intelligence only with the camera button to iPhone 16 models. But with the iOS 18.4, even the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max models can now get visual intelligence features. Visual intelligence is where you can point the camera at something and Apple intelligence can identify what's in the scene and lets you ask follow-up questions or search online with that image. There are two new ways to get visual intelligence with iPhone 15 Pro models. First, you can use the action button. Just go to settings, action button. In here, you can swipe to see a new visual intelligence option. Now you can use action button to invoke visual intelligence. Another way, Apple has added a new control in the control center. To get this, go to control center, long press on the screen, tap here to add a control. Now search for visual intelligence. Add this control to your control center. Now when you tap on it, you can access to visual intelligence like on iPhone 16 models delayed but thankfully it's now available with iphone 15 pro phones as well another nice update related to apple intelligence and control center there are more apple intelligence controls coming to control center go to control center long press to add a control now search for apple intelligence here you can see three options you can add a control to talk to siri you can now also add a control to type to siri which I personally love. I can now use this control to invoke Siri and type to converse with it. I use this at night when I can simply type to set an alarm or turn on focus mode. Did you know that you can also use invoke type by Siri by double tapping on the home bar at the bottom of the screen? You can enable or disable all these controls in the Siri settings. There's one more nice addition to the control center option and that is ambient sounds. When you go to add a new control in the control center option, you can search to see a new section called ambient music. There are four categories. You can add any of them to the control center. Invoking them will automatically start playing ambient music. This was already available deep in the accessibility settings. Now it's easier to start an ambient music right from control center. Next. Some updates to one of my most favorite apps, iOS Shortcuts. Apple has added more option to control some Safari and message settings. The one I love with this new update is, you now get an option to open a conversation from a contact directly. This way I can create a shortcut to open my husband's conversation directly. I then share this shortcut to home screen. Now with one tap, I can go straight to the conversation. There are more controls available. Check out the link in the description for all the new shortcut controls. Now, a new feature which has been around in Android phones for ages, but I'm happy at least it finally came. Now, when you have to edit an incorrect number in your iPhone dialer, you can long press to go directly to that number and fix it. Previously, you had to delete the whole thing and then re-enter the number. Now, you have the option to fix just the incorrect number. 
Thanks Apple. Some exciting updates are coming to the Photos app as well. I already made a whole video about the new Photos app. With iOS 18.4, Apple is giving even more controls to organize your photo library. First, there are more filter options available to show just the photos you want in your library. Second, when you go to the media type and utility sections, you can now reorder them in the order you want. Where this will be useful is only the first four entries show in the scroll page of the Photos app. Reordering your favorites to the top makes it easy to navigate with fewer taps. And third, now you can also sort the albums by the date modified as well. Small but useful organizational controls for Photos app. Next, some updates to the Apple News app. Oddly, Apple is bringing recipe to News app. If you go to following, you can now see a section called food. In here, you can see a new recipe catalog. Here you can search for recipe and then the app will give you the ingredients, cooking instructions and tips. There is a cook mode which shows you step by step instructions too. The best part, you can save the recipes you like and you can filter the recipes based on type, preference, cooking duration etc. It can replace any recipe manager apps you might already use. There are two not so great things about this. One, a lot of recipes are only a part of paid News Plus subscription. Only a limited few are free recipes. Second, even if you get the News Plus subscription, the recipe collection is pretty limited for now. It just launched, so I'm pretty sure that it'll get better. Also, the interface looks very sleek. Okay, what else? As with most updates, there are a new set of emojis added to the iOS 18.4 release. These are the new ones. Do you like any? Also, speaking of emojis, when you want to create a custom Genmoji, there is a more evident Genmoji button in the emoji section of the keyboard. There is also a new dedicated Apple Vision Pro app. This app will be installed automatically for Vision Pro owners. Okay, these are the major changes coming to the iOS 18.4 release. There are a bunch of smaller updates as well, which I have not covered in detail, like the privacy dot during a phone call to show there is an app using the mic, more Siri voices, there are more system level languages that Apple supports, which are listed here. You can now set up a new Mac with just your iPhone if you have it close by, some nicer animation changes to control center and notification center, and a few more. There are also quite a lot optimization fixes and security fixes. I will leave a list of all the changes that have come in the description below. It's a long awaited update for sure. If you have updated it already, how was your experience so far? Did you find any other feature with this new release? Please let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's everything for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.